Today, I've got 15 SREF codes that you can use in your mid-journey prompts. It's been a while since I did one of these videos. SREF is my favorite mid-journey feature, and all of these codes are from my SREF collection, which I'll link down below. All right, let's get started. First up, we have Lemon Bazaar. This SREF is a great mix of strange realism and surrealism with quirky, whimsical vibes and a color palette of yellows, blues, and greens. Like in my previous SREF videos, I like to use the same diverse set of prompts across SREF codes so that it's easier for you to make comparisons and pick out some of the unique nuances of each style. These are the prompts that I'll use throughout this video, and over on the right are the settings that I used. Based on some of the images in this grid, I thought this would be a great SREF for creating interesting characters, and indeed it is. I've shared a few different sets of images with this SREF code over on Twitter, X, whatever. To create your own images with this style, just add the style reference parameter followed by the SREF code number in your prompt. Urban Petrichor. This is a moody photographic style that has that distinct atmosphere after a rainfall. Many images have a dreary, misty look to them. Streets and paths are often wet and everything tends to look a bit cinematic. The color palette centers around soft teal grays accented with orange tones. It works well for a variety of shots, but if you're looking for an SREF to add a cinematic quality to your images, try this one out. Next, we have Chlorophyll Punk. Your dystopian future is here. This SREF code creates images with a strong sci-fi and cyberpunk aesthetic bathed in eerie shades of green. Most images are photorealistic, but some have a bit more of a digital render look to them. Soft Borealis a dreamy style that creates images with a pastel palette of lavenders, blues, and pinks with a slight retro-futurism vibe. You'll notice that this is a bit of a mixed style in that it can produce somewhat photographic images as well as detailed illustrations. I especially like the leaf image here, and you can't really see it here, but there's a bit of texture to these images too, almost a blend between woven fabric and an old magazine page. And just a quick comment about using version 6.0 versus 6.1. I used 6.0 to create these images, but these SREFs also work well with 6.1. If you want more details on how SREFs look in 6.0 versus 6.1, be sure to check out this video. Viridian Haze. Texture, grain, realism, and atmosphere. This illustration style SRF has an otherworldly retro futurism aesthetic with surreal qualities. The color palette is muted shades of dark green with warm accents. I think this SRF would be fun for creating scenes from a mysterious vintage sci fi world. Mid Century Muse. This SRF is a blend of photorealism and photographic styles with the occasional painting, like you see with this nature scene. There's an interesting classic and vintage aesthetic to this SREF, and I really love the more neutral color palette dominated by sage greens and warm gold tones. Silver Gelatin. This is a beautiful black and white photographic style that captures a vintage nostalgia film aesthetic. There is mood and atmosphere and images can easily have some really nice shallow depth of field. There's also speckles, grain noise, and a timeless quality. You'll typically get monochrome images with this SREF, but you can get some color. This is also a great SREF to blend with other SREF codes. Here is Silver Gelatin blended with Soft Borealis. And here with Chlorophyll Punk. If you haven't blended SREF codes before, I go over it a bit in another SREF video. I'll link it down below. Primary Grit. We're moving to the dark side with this one. This is a dramatic, high contrast SREF with a very distinct look to it. The main color here, or absence of color, is most certainly black, but we have accents of blue, yellow, and red that really pop against the darkness. You'll also find there's a gritty texture with a lot of these images. I have experimented with this SREF code a lot, and it really shows its dynamic range when you try it with different style weights, and when I introduce my personalization code. When you see an SREF code that you like some element of, I highly recommend testing it out with different style weights, stylized values, and your personalization codes to really dial it in. Botanical Bounce, I love this name. This is a charming illustration style that tends to be detailed and a bit whimsical. The color palette is green, white, and pinkish red. 
This SREF loves to incorporate lush greenery and floral elements into images and is a great SREF code to try blending with other illustration style SREFs. Strange Mushrooms. This is quite an interesting SREF that defaults to an illustration style, but you can see with these two prompts up here, I was able to get photographic leaning images as well. Based on these three images, it's clearly a candidate for making weird expressive character illustrations that are a bit cartoony. So if you're looking for an expressive, slightly odd illustration SREF, you might wanna try this one out. Forgotten Film. Nostalgic, vintage disposable camera vibes, flash photography, dust speckles, film grain, and occasionally crooked or odd cropping that sometimes gives results an accidental photo look. This is a special one. It is really versatile and great for realistic photographic images. My favorite experiment so far with this SREF has been concert photography. I especially like using this SREF with higher stylized values because this SREF works really well with the default mid-journey aesthetic. Time Horn Fable. This SREF is a blend of photographic and photorealistic styles. The color palette is filled with soft honey tones, creams, and accents of greens. It's a really nice SREF for warm, cozy images that I think almost look like scenes from a vintage movie, but filmed in modern day, if that makes sense. But it also looks like it would be great for still life imagery. Shadow play. This is a striking monochromatic style that creates dramatic images with incredible contrast and flowing forms. This SREF code excels at creating these elegant, almost curved liquid-like patterns of light and shadow. The effect of this is really strong and it might feel like this SREF has a bit of a mind of its own, but that's what makes it so interesting, right? I especially love that the flowers have this photogram X-ray look and that this was the interpretation for an otherworldly creature. Seaside Vintage. A sun-soaked photographic style that captures a bit of summer nostalgia with a vintage film look. As I was working with this SREF, I also noticed that it has a penchant for the seaside. Images are a bit faded and have a green tint to them, and you'll also see imperfections like scratches and dust spots. Vapor Lens. This is a really interesting photographic style, although some images lean more towards photorealism, Images are atmospheric with an ethereal, misty quality. The color palette is lots of pale blues and silvery grays, and the lighting is soft and diffused. It's also fairly easy to get more minimalistic images with this SREF or images where you have a solid colored background, which you can see in several of these images. This is a nice SREF to blend with forgotten film. I've now curated more than 350 SREF codes that I've released in PDF guides and previous SREF videos, I have thousands that I've saved for future testing. It's quite a thorough process for me to discover SREF codes that I think are high quality and have interesting use cases. There are some real gems in this collection. Some of my PDF guides are free and all of my mid-journey guides are included with some Patreon tiers. I also do monthly prompt collections over on Patreon. I typically pick one or two topics suggested by the community. These can be mini tutorials or in-depth prompt examples complete with a prompt phrase library and tips related to a specific subject. In September, I wrote a whole guide on how I discover and test SREF codes. This month, I focused on prompts for action scenes and naive art. Once you join, you immediately get access to all previous posts for that tier and any PDF guides. If that sounds interesting to you, I'll leave a link up on the screen and down below. Otherwise, there are a lot of other videos on my channel that you can check out. I hope you enjoyed some of these SREF codes and we'll try them out. As always, please be sure to like, subscribe, all the things. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.